Now let's explore Surface EMG biofeedback. Pressing the green Surface EMG button brings up this screen. Let's start by turning the volume off. Besides the description and sample electrode placements at the top, the key parameters to adjust are the target and the number of swallows to strive for, the swallow trials. The target can be adjusted manually or automatically. In target max mode, the automatic mode, pressing the capture target button will result in the unit recording several attempts of the patient and then setting that as the target level for the exercise. Let's do this. Make sure the recording electrodes are connected to channel 1 and that channel 1 is highlighted on the screen. Also make sure that the reference electrode is connected somewhere nearby on the body. Now press begin capture and ask the patient to perform a couple of contractions. Press end capture when you are satisfied with the effort. On the screen that now appears, you have the opportunity to adjust the captured level further. Increase it or decrease it depending on whether you want to make it more or less challenging for the patient. You're now ready to start working the session with your patient. Press start pause to start recording the session data and ask the patient to contract in such a way as to exceed the threshold. You can do this in this graph view or you can switch to trace view which tends to be easier for the patient to work with. Pressing EMG triggered stim from the home screen will get us in EMG triggered stim mode. In this mode, the patient is encouraged to work like before, but then when he reaches the threshold, the stimulation will kick in as a reinforcement of the effort. So pressing EMG triggered stim will get us to the point where we can set the parameters for both the stim and EMG. So let's press the gears icon, which is the setting button, to edit these settings. First, let's make sure that channel 1 is connected to the triggering muscle group. In this instance, it will be the geniohyoid. This is where we want to focus the patient's attention. Channel 2 will be delivered to the thyrohyoid muscles. This is where the stimulation will be delivered. Next, we must capture the target level like we did before. So let's press Capture Max and do the same sequence as we have before in Surface EMG Biofeedback. Now, Let's press Edit Surface EMG plus VMS to set up the stimulation parameters. Here we can change the stimulation parameters like frequency, phase duration and ramp time. More importantly, we must select the amount of time that the stimulation should be delivered, the stim time and the time in between efforts that the patient will relax, the relax time. Let's set these at 2 seconds and 12 seconds respectively. We are ready to go. Press the Start Surface EMG plus VMS button and we bring up this screen. Channel 1 is already active and it will remain active because it is the triggering channel. But in this example we are not going to stimulate through it so we'll leave the intensity at 0 milliamperes. We select Channel 2 in order to increase the therapeutic intensity. Let's do this for this patient as we have done before. And once we are at the right level, press Start Pause and the machine will start in relax mode. In relax mode, the instructions will be provided to the patient to say, okay, get ready. You're gonna be asked to swallow. When you get the swallow going, try and put in a big effort to reach the threshold. When you reach the threshold, hold it and hold it and hold it for the right amount of time. Once this is done and executed, the patient repeats this cycle as many times as is therapeutic. And this concludes this video tutorial.